So welcome you to Definite Create and welcome you to the Cisco Germany segment here. My name is Aicha Rupert. I'm assistance architect, but also the programmability lead for Cisco Germany. So let me shortly introduce you to the agenda so you know what you're looking to right now. So first, we're going to start uh, to have a short interview with Bosch, a customer of ours talking about network automation and onboarding access points. And then seconds, we will switch to our love partners, of course. We have MTS on the call, represented by Andreas, talking about network automation, but some geek stuff on top of it. And then we will, uh, we will have a Cisco colleague talking about magic and the Desk Pro and doing some geeky stuff there around too. So let us start with Thomas. Yeah, hi, thanks uh, for inviting me. Uh, this is Rupert. My name is uh, Thomas Lust. Um, I'm here from Stuttgart, Germany. I'm from the corporate IT department of Robert Bosch here in Germany. Uh, I work as a product owner in the area of campus connectivity. And I'm also a member of an HR working development team in a project called Secure BCN, which stands for Bosch Corporate Network. So when we talk about that, Thomas, what are you trying to move within this BCN? Well, we are right now on a very exciting journey in the moment. We are renewing our network for the future of Bosch. Uh, we have a vision that leads us in our daily development. Uh, we want to create a worldwide Bosch network service with flexible end-to-end -end segments over all our network domains for all our bis different business needs. And how do we want to do this? We want to do this uh, software driven and automated, which is new for us. And as usual for networkers, of course, we want to do that secure, re reliable and efficient. And by doing this, we enable Bosch to become the leading AIoT company. We drive innovation for the future network of Bosch. Wow, Thomas, so you have, you have told us a lot about your vision right now. So let us look a bit behind the scenes. What are the challenges? Well, our existing network, uh, our legacy network has limitations. Uh, in example, to provide transport, uh, transport internet access or the integration of unmanaged devices into the network. Uh, we also must reduce the flatness of our network to reduce the risk of malware spread. We have a huge amount of network devices that needs to be renewed in the product lifecycle. And by doing this, we can bring in new products like, in example, Cisco's DNA Center or the Fabric-enabled software-defined access platforms. Uh, with these changes, we are able to implement macro and micro segmentation in a much easier way and automate the dynamic onboarding of all our device inventory into these segments using the network access control. Oh, wow, that sounds really challenging. You're touching a lot of bits and pieces. So set by this, um, so the traditional networker and now the developer are meeting each other. So what about the challenges there? Well, it's not just classical network topics as we are used to be working with. In the past, our networkers were trimmed to provide high available, cost efficient and simplified networks all done, as you know, hands-on on the command line or with some scripting support. Now we are changing to software-based networking. A controller programming everything from a central GUI can be somewhat very scaring to a traditional networker guy. Uh, we are moving towards using APIs instead of command line, more automation and standardization. And that requires, of course, new skills from our networkers, from the whole community. An example like API building, different handling of the network underlay and a more program programmable overlay network. And that all in alignment with the business needs that we have. Wow. Thomas, you throw the word an example. So give, can you give us a more concrete example around that? Yes, well, uh, it's kind of like networking like a Bosch. I, I brought this uh, hat that you might have seen this hashtag from the from the uh, commercial side of Bosch. Yes, and uh, networking like a Bosch, what would that mean? As, as we are challenged with the replacement on and the renewal of many thousand devices, 
we are highly driving automation in preparation of our planned rollout in the next months and years. So Thomas, you have given us a view around a worldwide acting company, around what for challenges you have, also the cultural challenge with new skill sets needed, and also give us an example what you're doing and achieving in automating the network. I want to say a warm thank you to have you here on DevNet Create and have, wish you a very, very nice day. You're welcome. Thank you. So welcome Andreas now from NTS and listening to his story and his development, what he was doing. So, hey, Andreas, how are you doing and who are you? <laughs> Hello, Acha. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, I'm Andreas Sauerwein. I'm systems engineer for security in Austria. And yeah, I am program firewalls uh, by hand or more or less by hand, but also have a great passion for network automation. And I think that's why we are here. Wow. So great to have you here. You sound very geekish. So when we talk about <laughs> geeks, um, we had a hackathon here in Germany. Um, and I remember NTS very well. You have won the hackathon um, with a kind of a bot which is talking to the network administrators. Can you give us a short um, overview about the solution you have built. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so from the last hackathon, we built a bot called Antibody. Um, it's, um, it's a WebEx bot and it's also a Google NLP bot, so a bot where we can speak with. And in the back, there was a great GitLab infrastructure as code pipeline that is generating configs. But we also had that. that human, human likely bot who could talk to and you could ask the bot, hey, who did the last change? Why is my network down? And could you please revert the change um, my colleague made yesterday? Yeah. So when you say that, Andreas, let us like, um, let us look right into the video. This was cool. Uh, okay. 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 Na, was das? Ähm, lass uns den Entebody fragen. Alles klar. Starte Entebody privat. In Ordnung. Hier ist die Testversion von Entebody privat. Relax. We care. Was ist im Netzwerk passiert? Letzte Änderung von Mike vor 20 Minuten. Möchten Sie den Change rückgängig machen? Ja, sicher. Ja, bitte. Das war der Mike. Das war der Mike. Der, der, Mike. der macht immer die komischen Changes. So gleich rüber dann. Ja, passt. Das war mal jetzt noch ab. Mhm. Perfekt. Let's go. Haben wir es. Gehen wir. Now we have seen the demo in the video and uh, we figured out Mike uh, was producing the issue. So, however, um, what was the challenge for you as a network developer um, to work with a natural language processing technology and with the chatbot there? Ah, uh, yeah. So the main challenge was that we were used to APIs for Cisco APIs, but we haven't done anything about natural language processing um, before. Um, um, we also had some, some caching problems because we had to wait for Google processing our requests and give us back the results. Uh, that was also another problem, um, as everyone knows, it was Corona yes, uh, last year. And yeah, all of us were sitting at home. We had no place to meet and hack it together. So that was another challenge, but it was really nice working with everyone. Uh, it was a team that for many different parts of NTS, um, we don't normally work together. So that was really great. Wow. So thank you, Andreas, and thank you for NTS to participating. And again, congratulations for this great win in this challenging environment. Um, and I wish you a wonderful great, uh, day and a great day at DevNet Create. Bye bye. Thank you, too. Have a nice day. So we have heard some great stuff from a customer and from a partner. So let's look what Cisco is doing. So welcome, Chris. Nice to have you here. How are you doing and, and what is your role? Just a short introduction. Hi, Aicha. I'm very pleased to be here with you today because for me, it's a kind of first thing ever to work with Cisco TV and to have some kind of cool equipment around because as a collaboration guy, I'm the collaboration TSA in the German pre-sales team. And so this is very exciting for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, indeed. It's very fun. So when we talk about collaboration, we have heard before like geeky stuff about a chatbot and natural language processing, but we have also beautiful devices like the Desk Pro and I heard you do some magic there. So tell us about that. Um, I'm not sure if it is geeky or magic. Let me, let me show you a video first that you can have an insight what I have done and how it does it look like. So first of all, I took a macro from a colleague which was called Compositor. What is the compositor doing? It is doing a kind of merging your different sources connected to the device together into one feed. What you can see now is, for example, picture in picture or an equal layout. And what you can also do with a Desk Pro, you can have three sources all together in any kind of layout, how you want to have it. Not only in a video channel, you can also do that in the presentation channel. Okay, you can do picture in picture maybe, but what you can also do is, like I have shown in the video tab, you can have your two sources shared in the content feed or also resources all together in the content of a WebEx meeting, for example. And the last part was what I am have or what I have developed. It is a immersing setting. As you can see, you can freely move around in your desktop or your background. You can move your size. You can get some transparency on yourself. And what you can also again do, you can move flexible around to put yourself exactly in the spot where you want to be in your presentation. Wow, this is great. And this is so geeky, to be honest. Um, it, it does want to, you know, I have a picture in my hat putting you into um, in the background like an island and you are just in that right now sitting at the beach. So Christian, this is possible with the APIs from a Desk Pro and also from, from our Cisco solutions. So said by that, let me wrap up all what we have seen right now. So again, we have heard to a customer who is challenging with a global network and get that automated. And we and he pointed out too in um, API um, session here or in, in session which Bosch is holding around APIs and access points and how to onboard them. Then we've heard something around our partners having challenges to solve around innovation, how to bring more service to the customers around the chatbot, supporting the networkers um, on their daily business. And then of course we have heard um, some magic. Again, I call it magic. Uh, we have heard some magic from Christian around our Desk Pro and how picture in picture is working. Um, so set by this, I say a huge thank you for listening into our session and I wish you a great day and a, and a nice, beautiful inspiration here at DevNet Create. Bye-bye.